Hi guys, it's Tony, and I am getting ready to clean and organize my closet for the new year. I have this nice piece of furniture that I got from my neighbors a while back, and I wanted to give it a nice white antique look, distressed look. So I have some chalk paint and some distressing techniques, and I'm going to create a beautiful piece of furniture for my closet. For this project, you're going to need white chalk paint. I'm using Americana Decor. You'll need chalk paint wax, a shed resistant roller brush, a couple of paint brushes, and some sandpaper. Now the first thing I'm going to do is remove the drawers and the hardware. Make sure it's nice and clean. The best thing about this chalk paint is that there's no priming or sanding required. You can just um, clean your piece up and start painting. Start with the chalk paint. And then pour it in, pour a little in the pan. I'm using a small pan and a small roller. This jar covers 60 square feet, so hopefully it'll be enough for this little dresser. And I'm going to do two coats on this piece. So I'm going to just start rolling it on. If you want, you could use a brush. This goes on a lot easier. If you use the brush, you can have the uh, a nice wood grain look. I might go over it again with a brush to give it some um, some wood grain. I'm going to use a small brush to get into the little crevices that I couldn't get with the roller. While that's drying, I'm going to paint the drawers. This is a water-based paint too, so it washes up really easily. I always keep a, a container of water in a rag so I can clean up my hands if I need to. Okay, it dries pretty quickly. I'm going to start to put the second coat on. And on the top, I want it to be really smooth. So I'm going to roll this on really evenly. So while these pieces are drying, I also um, painted another piece that I found. It's a little um, drawer set. It has three drawers and I think I'm going to sit it on top of the dresser or somewhere in the closet. I also found these, these cool little silver knobs at TJ Maxx and I'm going to put the knobs on this little piece with the three cabinets and I'm going to put one of the knobs on on the dresser. I'm going to use the old hardware that I had for the dresser and I'm going to paint that a silver to match these knobs. I'm using this Martha Stewart metallic silver paint. Just use a little brush and just lightly brush 
over for the um, the piece. Okay, so this piece is dry now. I'm going to start distressing it. You can distress it before or after you put the wax on. I think I'm going to do it now so that in case um, I needed to touch it up with some paint, I'll do that. I can do that again before I wax it. So this is a pretty coarse um, sandpaper. I'm going to start off really light um, and then see what it looks like but you want to distress it where it would normally wear so on a you know higher relief areas and in the corner Okay, I think I got the distress in the way I want it. So I'm going to take a, a dry rag and brush off all the dust, the sawdust, and get ready to wax it. Okay, so now I'm going to add the wax uh, cream. This is to protect it and give it a nice sheen. You want to use a lint free rag. I'm using an old um, t-shirt and just dip a little in there, rub it on in a circular motion. So what you're going to do is rub it all on the piece and then go back and buff it. Okay, so here is my finished piece. I think it turned out really nice. And these pieces really turned out to be a beautiful storage addition to my closet. You can click here if you'd like to watch my completed closet, organization, and makeover.